What is up, everybody? Thanks for joining us for today's Lunch Break Let's Play, where Jonathan will be continuing the journey into The Last of Us. Oh, oh or he's the gone. Last of the last of the we tried. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just grabbing my drink there. So we're picking up in this hotel. Uh, this is just uh, leading up to where we finally meet Sam and Henry. So I'm just trying to get us to that point. So now we got to traverse this hotel and fight any baddies in here. So let's do it. How's everybody doing? Well, we've got DJ Stevie 69. Da -da -da -da. We don't have the hype button, sorry. Well, good day to you, says DJ Stevie 69. Thanks for joining us. Hello, Jerry A, Michael, Ken. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. I can make a bomb. Sure, why not? I've asked people what they eat, haven't oh, we? In for one night, hmm? and I would like your well, the, the unmiked Ray would like to know what everyone is having for lunch right now. Jonathan, what do you have here? Uh, still Liquid? on my fast. I'm on day seven. I'm on the back half. Going to uh, 12 days on this thing, so... This is day seven right now. And day I, uh, eight with, uh, any, without any solid foods because I led into it with all orange juice. I'll come out of it with all orange juice. So it'll be 14 days of no solids. I have my watermelon Waterloo. I just had my cup of nuts before we went live. So here's another uh, thingy here. Another safe. I'm gonna, I, I'm pretty sure I remember where the code is, so. So just for people who are joining us for the first time, uh, Jonathan and I have been doing this weekly where Jonathan plays The Last of Us and gets us caught up to where the show on HBO leads off. Uh, we're a little bit behind, so that's why we're doing a second stream this week. But normally we do them, what, Mondays? Yeah. It's just part of this. Sometimes these game, these, these uh, levels here, they're longer than, they take longer to get to and we don't have that much time. So we only have about an hour today because later today we're going to be doing a play and chat with John where we'll be answering your super chats. But uh, we're going to try to get a little further into the game for an hour here and hang out with you guys on our lunch break. Hopefully we can get to where we meet up with uh, Sam and Henry, Henry in the game, mm -hmm. like, we, like we did in the show. Um, in the meantime, um, I'll be taking some questions from the live chat if anyone wants to write in. And oh, I see. I gotta we'll get to as it. many of these as we can. First up, we have Tyler Frattis, who says, Taylor, did you get your tickets for Scream 6 yet? Just got them. So excited. Well, Tyler, let me just tell you, I don't have my tickets yet, uh, but that's because I have a ticket for Magic Mike 3, Titanic, the re-release in 4K 3D, and then I have a ticket already for Ant-Man, and I have A-List, so you can only have three tickets at a time. <laughs> so as soon as I uh, see Magic Mike, I know I'm busy. Well, no, movies. also it resets on Friday, so you still have to wait till Friday, I think. No, 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 it's just, uh, like, you can only see three up to that Friday, but... But these movies are far enough away. To oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, so I, I don't have my ticket yet, but I'm going to get it. This is the first time a Scream movie is being released in 3D. So I'm going to see it in 3D. I'm going to see it in Dolby. I'm going to see it as many times as I can because Scream, as many of you know, is my favorite horror franchise. So I'm very excited for that. So a little thing here when you walk up, <clears throat> there was a there was like a, a, a signal to hit the button. And he's like, oh, I really miss coffee. So... In, in the game, it's already established that John is, or John, that uh, Joel is a big coffee drinker. And then I just kind of like that little detail when they were leaving uh, in, in episode four. Remember, he was drinking that coffee and he was like loving it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So they kind of stuck to true to character on that. Let's see. Blackjack Billigan has a question for you, Jonathan. When you finish the fast, will you enjoy a favorite meal after or keep it up? So when you're. So I'm going to go uh, 12 days. So I, next Monday, I'm going to do this. That'll be my last day. Uh, when you come off of not eating for that long, you have to ease back into eating <clears throat> your stomach or your body. You could damage your intestines, your gut, whatever. Um, so uh, on, on that next Tuesday, I'll be able to drink um, like orange juice all day. And then I can do like vegetable soup, like mostly broth and then i can switch to more vegetables than broth and then i can do like salads and fruit and vegetables um and then next friday will be the first day i can eat like regular so i'm probably still gonna have a healthy meal like um grilled vegetables and just some like garlic bread and stuff like that with that garlic toast um 
but I'm pretty sure the safe code is over here. But then next weekend, uh, not next week, the weekend after that, then I can go back to eating like cheese and meats and all that stuff. So yeah, there's a few things, you know, it's weird. Like I'm just craving like buttered toast with like scrambled eggs on it. Like weird things, not like all the things you'd expect. Like anything at this point will be like delicious. All right, guys in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, remember 221056 for me. And I'll go back to the... Uh, Let's see. Say. Roberto Diamond says, what's up, Ray? Ray, unfortunately, does not have a microphone, but he's here. He's chilling with us while he's working yeah, on the he's segments editing and stuff. the segments for you guys. But he says, hello. Hey, hey. Actually, he says, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> is that good? My poop probably looks funny. That's, that is a funny comment. Uh, I don't know. Not really. I mean, we won't get too much into it, but this is a liquid diet, guys. So this <laughs> what, what is the uh, code real quick? Oh, do you guys remember the code? Let's see, twenty-two ten fifty-six. All right, twenty-two ten. Oh boy, you knew that off the top of your no, head. Michael, Stephen, no, they're Matt writing it. Film 22. show, Mister Forty Seven. Thanks Hell everyone. Yeah. Stevie see, loves horror. Mister Forty Seven. Joe Howland, thank you guys for. Is it fifty-six? All right, thanks guys. Uh, it was twenty-two ten fifty-six. So this game. Like... <laughs> now that we've started. No, because I have some questions about this game. Go ahead. Well, you can, you can grab uh, any of these lobs here. There's one right here. There's... Is this one on already? As long as it can stretch to him. Ooh, look at this. So what did I get? Re durability of blades. So my blades will last longer. Nice. All right, let's see. In the live chat, we have Malik R, who says, congrats, Taylor, on the 800 subscribers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much, Malik. Uh, yeah, I just woke up this morning to 800 subscribers on my YouTube channel, 50 Shades of Tay with three Y's. Uh, Rob and I have been doing an ongoing series called Would You Rather, where we take some funny questions on the internet and see Would You Rather, and uh, we've done three episodes so far. So yeah, thanks so much for that. I really appreciate the support, and it was so cool to wake up to 800 subscribers. All right, come on, Ellie. Ray, do you mind testing your mic really quick just to make hello, sure? Hello, hello, hello. Can you guys hear Ray okay in the, in the live it? chat? Just want to make sure. Probably not. Yeah, Village Boy uh, FR, I, I have some uh, some ideas for some videos I want to do with Ray. I want to do some with Jonathan. It's just, you know, we have to find the time. Yeah. Uh, but I would love to just, you know, it's funny to do these little, I don't know, like games. Like, would you rather, what else have I done? Uh, I did Best Friend Tag with Chris. So it's, it's fun. So uh, Benjamin, sorry. Ray, really no, no. So I wanted to say, like, oh, sure. the reason why I don't play a lot of these games is because... I'm used to the zombie games like Resident Evil, where it seems like you can't walk for like five minutes and then not run into something. This this game seems a little bit more... Uh, it's very balanced. A lot of it... Like there's a lot of exploration. Yeah, a lot of it you'll explore. You're going to find like supplies and then, you know, I mean, you're going to need that for crafting and everything else. And not only that, you're taking care of Ellie. Is there a, is there a, 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 follows, a game me me mechanic that deals with taking care of her? No, she just she just uh, follows you. So she she can never die. If you die, then no, yeah. the well, game... she can. She can. If she dies, okay. you die. Okay, okay. Basically, it's like, oh, try again. Uh, okay. We have a few questions for you right now that you're mic'd up. First of all, Stephen says, "Hi, Ray." Hey, hey, hey. Irene Jobs says, "I hear Ray, Ray. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate <laughs> that." Uh, Roberto Diamond wants to know, Ray, what's your favorite coffee and Coke flavor? Oh yeah, you posted about that. How was that? The dark blend. I I hate to say it, but I, and this is gonna sound weird, but when I first taste taste that a uh, drink, it tastes like carbonated dirt. Like honestly, but I love it. It's like a carbonated soil. I, I, it's like it's almost like you're drinking carbonated ground coffee <laughs> without putting it through the brewer. I mean, it kind of. I mean, but it's good. I don't know why it's so good to me. Maybe it's because I'm a fan of dark chocolate. I'm I'm talking about dark, like. I forgot the highest percentage I could eat of dark chocolate, but it's pretty bitter. Um, so that one's the only one I tasted so far. I love it. I'm gonna try vanilla later if I can get to the store. But the, I, that's the only one I've I've tried. Dark blend. There's a regular one too, I think, which is the first one I got. If there's a regular one, I think I got that the first time, and that one was good too. But uh, I, I don't know how bad those drinks are for you. They probably are really bad, but. Oh. So the ironic thing is you guys can actually see the screen better than I can because there's a lot of glare from the window behind yeah, us. Yeah, me we too. We did, uh, 
it does help. I, it, this shot might be a little darker of me and Taylor and Ray because we're not using our, we're just using our overhead lights. But it was like really hard for me to see the screen with the lights in my face. And um, the only thing we're battling now is just glare from the window. So if you see me kind of like walk up close to a bad guy as if I didn't see them, it's probably because I didn't see them. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We had another question, Ray. Oh, there. Two for you. Uh, Benjamin wants to know: Has Ray watched Avatar two yet? <laughs> has Ray seen Avatar one? I've seen Avatar <laughs> one, and you know what? I'm almost getting to the point where I'm very, I'm I'm almost getting angry that I'm I'm not going out like this weekend. I have to take care of the uh, John and Anne's dog, so I won't be able to go this. I'm gonna have to go on a day. Like after work, as soon as I get out of here, just head straight to the theater. But no, I haven't seen it. I um I know Ant Man comes out. It what next week? This week? Ant Man comes out next week. Yeah, Thursday. I have to see it because I know they're gonna take some of those three D screenings out. Oh yeah. And I have to see it in three D. That's the only that's the only reason really why I'm not waiting for it at this point to go streaming, <laughs> which really sucks. But all you guys have seen it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw what it am twice. I doing here? Um, <laughs> I had a lot of fun with it. I had at AMC, they had a blue drink. It had glitter in it. I don't know what it was called, but it had like vodka and it was blue. It had yeah, glitter swirling in it. It was so good. So I pretty much cleared the floor. Those are the stairs I got to go up, but there's. All right, I don't remember. I'm going to make it over deal. here. Oh, sorry. Clear. sorry no, it's okay. Um, the one thing I want to do next. So, like, if you see these upgrades. Oh, I can do upgrades. Okay. Um,. I did ship master last time. Crafting speed, what? UC3 underscore DUC3 says aloha from Hawaii. Hawaii. Aloha. Hawaii. Um, I'm going to make a deal with the chat, okay? You heard it here. If I don't watch Avatar 2 by the end of this weekend, I will pie myself in the face on Monday. Or something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll think of something. All right. Uh, it'll, it'll make me want to actually go see it, so... You guys heard it here first. Yeah. Or I'll have to do a show with Taylor for Thank like you, three Mr. hours. Thank you, Mr. 47. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you guys see that Ray and I matched yesterday in our red flannel? Oh, boy. So cute. <laughs> I'm Matt Sanders. Thanks for joining us. So has there ever been a game like Last of Us in the same sort of... Uh... The only thing I feel like as far as like finding equipment, crafting it, and like kind of like small zones of like play would be the tomb raider games the new mm. ones that came out um you know it, it's yeah. similar but like then i'd say ghost of tsushima uh steven gamble but those days are both gone those are yeah and days gone oh that's a zombie game i well, don't want to play gone thematically but also for that reason too i love days gone um and ghost of tsushima which are both playstation original is that guy on the floor okay yeah he's just taking it out oh, okay good they that that yeah, day's gone. Or, everyone, so we'll go upstairs. Did he say day's gone? Or which is the yeah. one where does all the the hordes of zombies yeah, that are day's chasing? Gone. Okay, well And he's like on the motorcycle. I hate the feeling in video games when something is chasing you and you can't see it. Hmm. Like um even in GTA, if I'm online, hmm. I'll always be constantly uh turning around just because I don't want anyone sneaking up on me, so that's like my nightmare. I that mean, game's do, my nightmare. You do get pretty good like audio cues though from any of the hordes or any of the like just zombies running around. Yeah, but no one likes that feeling because like especially if you go in that view where you're looking forward and you don't know how close they are behind you, I hate that feeling. One thing no. I want to do though, I'm a little confused though, Taylor, because I know I did Shiv Master last time, mm -hmm. but I had crafting speed and healing speed upgraded. Hmm. I'll take it, but whatever. Now I did. I knew I did listen mode. I'm gonna do more listen mode. You know what? That expands your listen distance. It might have been because it felt so bad that you died so many times at the truck. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> so so wait wait. So the things you're getting right now are are earned through actions in the game. Yeah. Well. So there's like pills and stuff you can collect, and then that'll oh. increase. Like Pump I'll show you a second. Let me. Do, Dispatch this person right here. Ellie! Why'd you get in my way? What's up, Kenneth Colton? Thanks for joining us. Mr. 47 says Hogwarts Legacy is pretty dope. We're going to get that, right, Jonathan? Yeah, yeah, we're going to get it. We're going to get to streaming here. We're going to do it on Monday from what I hear. I'm not sure. 
Exactly, but I think Anne's coming in oh because I wanted Jonathan and Anne to play it. I That'll specifically requested them to because they seem like the type that will actually not get first. Uh, for which one? Uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Anne's going to come in, I believe, on Monday to Well, play. we both get the lore. Anne and I both So play. I'm not going to watch any videos. I'm not going to buy it. I'm just going to wait for Monday so it'll be like my first reaction to the, everything. And hopefully, uh, Jonathan, you, you, you too, and Taylor. Mm. I don't know if Taylor's going to get it uh, right uh, away. I don't know if I'll get it. I, I literally don't even have time for the Yeah, games. no like, time, and games are so pricey right now. I gotta remember the, the games that I do play, like, on a regular basis, I don't even have time for them right now. Um, but we have a couple more questions. Uh-huh. Guillermo Aelon um, asks, Ray, when is the Morbius Minute gonna start? <laughs> okay. I have not seen the movie yet. I know. I haven't seen the movie. I don't know, to be honest. I mean, uh, it was an idea that was thought up. I'm gonna be very... Uh, uh, transparent about it it was a thought that was a it was a idea that was thought up and then i even have a like a graphic ready um oh yeah that one's lit but it's just like the timing of stuff is just not it's not coming through and i don't even know if it's on netflix right now so i'm hoping to do it but i'm not gonna make any promises sometimes uh we announce things a little early <laughs> way earlier than we should and then um sometimes it just doesn't come through i don't know but I'm, I'm still po optimistic that that will happen. We just need to find time to do it. Um, mm -hmm. Because Mandalorian's coming out mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Um, hopefully we get to do it. So if you're specifically waiting to watch it because of, for oh, me. He's backing right into me. Then um, I think that's that's really kind. But uh, I, I'm, I'll, I'll push for it. I'll push for it. I'll push for it. That's all I could say. But I don't know. Going back to the topic of the Hogwarts legacy, Kenneth Colton in the live chat said the version of Hogwarts that he got is the better one. So maybe like the deluxe version, it costs $86 with tax. Oh, that's not bad. I was expecting like a hundred bucks. What, ha what do you get like more? You get like that I'm upgrades not sure. and stuff like that? Yeah, normally you get like some cosmetic subs. Uh, I know like a couple games I've gotten, like I've gotten the deluxe of like Lego Star Wars. It'll come with like a little mini fig of Vader. I'll do the deluxe one when it's like, yeah, uh, the Black Friday sales. You know, because they're like 20 bucks versus 12. Or if you get something that actually helps you in the game, not just makes you look different. Yeah. Those are the ones that are worth something. To like in-game cash. And whatever. Or like even a head start and on your uh, abilities. Like maybe a 10% head start. Something like that. Um, JG from Space has cosmetic stuff and you get to play the game 72 hours early. Oh, okay. okay so we... I've been seeing, yeah, I've been seeing people write in saying it's amazing. And I was like, well, are you saying that because you played or amazing just, you know, based on the trailers and stuff. So that's, I, I think they did that. I used to get all the Gears of War games when they would come mm -hmm. out, and I think they did that with one of them, where if you bought like the deluxe version, you got to play it like the weekend, like maybe forty-eight hours earlier, and that I, I think that's a really cool perk. Let's see what else I can make here. Make another med pack. Stephen so Campbell there's asked. Oh, so ahead. there's supplies where you can build up your like, you can collect and make like med packs, Molotov cocktail shivs, whatever. And then there's medications you can build up. When you get like a certain amount, like I need 50, I have 25 right now, I can do more health. Can, can you increase. get attacked while you're in this menu? Uh, yes. Okay. That's not pause. The only way is if I like pause. Yeah. Okay. So I you don't want to do it in a spot where you're like... I don't like that either then. <laughs> you you want to do that in a spot where you're like clear. Uh, let's see. I lost where it was. Oh, Stephen Gable asks, uh, Taylor, which Gears is your favorite? I think it was Gears 3. Gears 3 was and really good. I would good. play the Horde mode all day. I would wake up, play... Like, oh, I mean, is that where they take an onslaught? Yeah, whatever. it's yeah. like they just keep coming and then... Oh, man. I would play that from when I woke up to when I went to bed. I was, like, obsessed. That, and then I, I used to play hours and hours and hours of my life went to Call of Duty Zombies. Real uh, quick, my I favorite was... I think it was Black Ops with 5. It was, like, a zombie map where you went underground... Uh, like at the, it was like the Pentagon or something. I don't really remember, but those two games I lost years of my life to, and they're so much fun. I'm just going to bring up the brightness for now. Uh, Jonathan, Jimmy Lopez asks you if you've ever played any Dark Souls games. I haven't. Ray, have you? No, because I've been scared off of those. Oh, it's so much better. <laughs> I brighten the screen. I hear they, they are the most oh, difficult yeah, games ever. All the glare. Yeah. So those are not for me. I, I don't I don't oh, game to actually get frustrated wrong. or mad. Uh, I like to keep it happy and like whatever that is. But 
those frustrating games, I, I'd rather not. Do good in the live chat wants to know if any of us have oh. been Law Abiding Citizen. Yes, and I have. what our thoughts are. Go ahead, Ray. Is that the one with Gerard Butler? Law Abiding Citizen. It sounds really familiar. Gerard Butler and it. Jamie Foxx. Okay. Oh, that's it. I think right that's there. it. I think that was it. Uh, or was it. It was Gerard. Law Abiding Citizen, 2009. Gerard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jamie Foxx, right? Mm -hmm. Leslie Bibb, Viola Davis. I right, said so this Regina is Hall. Wow. I really like that movie. I mean, I really enjoyed that movie. I don't remember it much, but I remember going, I'm glad I watched this after. It's like one of those rare times where I'm like, okay, I'm so okay. glad I watched this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't say anything because I don't remember. I think a Gerard Butler is what? Like he's uh, he's held captive or something? Mm -hmm. and uh, or, or some guy's trying to frame him? Something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's a good movie. I hope the viewer who asked liked it too. Let's see. Spoofa Man asks, question for Jonathan. What are games with great stories that utilize their in interactivity instead of being cinematic? Um, I think I know what you mean by that. Okay, hang on. Can I can I have my answer on that? Yeah, go for it. Uh, Why is this guy Superman? Like he just he just gets me every time. It, it's not like the the. It's more of like. I don't know if you heard of Life is Life is Strange games. I like those. Those might be too cinematic. Um, the new Escape from Monkey Island, I, I think, would be interactive, right? What do you mean? There's just no cinematics that drive it whatsoever? No, no, no. no. Like, 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 like a lot of the the story games, it's just you go to a certain point, it unlocks a a cutscene, yeah, and that's pretty much the whole game. So I guess Life is Strange is like that. So maybe that's not what he's asking. He's probably asking more like this. I'd say Ghost of Tsushima. If you've not tried it, do. It can be a little complicated at first with your like controls, but uh... Get him the you know what kind of, kind of games I, I I liked it was the Lucas Film games, Lucas Arts. Do you remember oh, those ones like Full Star Throttle, Wars Battlefront? Oh, Full Throttle, the 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 story driven games where you it, it, it's it's like Monkey Island. All right, everybody. We're back. Sorry about that. Just let me know in the live chat if you can hear and see us okay. All right. Looks like we are good. Matt Sanders says here. Village Boy FR says we back. Joe Howland. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for being patient. Ray just had a not paperwork joke and it was too filthy to share with us. That's what Mr. Boy yeah, said. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know there was a question in the live chat earlier for you, Ray. Uh, I can't find who asked the question, but they wanted to know if you ever finished playing Stray. No, I didn't. I, I handed it off to Rob, and Rob and Chris were so into it. Um, they probably went farther than I did. Mm. I haven't played it since that one day. So um, There's a lot of things with that game where it's like the angles where you have to find where to jump. Like, you know how you have to view uh get your point of view to the the ledge that you're gonna jump on mm -hmm. it's really touchy sometimes you have to be very specific and that was giving me a little headache mm -hmm. i'm not sure why but i, I do want to get back on it because the the cat is adorable i want to see that trailer for the movie strays it's uh will ferrell is it a cat ferrell? Why, why did i say ferrell yeah, y'all ferrell? i just like <laughs> what happened uh, Will Ferrell, as I think it's a like abandoned dog, and it's like a um, revenge film, and it's from the people who did Barb and Star, which I thought was hilarious. As long as the dog don't get hurt, I'll watch it. Taylor, have you seen Men? Oh, sorry, that was JG from Space. No, I haven't seen it. I wanted to see it, but I don't know what happened. I just never got a chance to watch it in theaters, and then months have gone by, but. I've heard mixed things about it, but I'm still interested in it. Is that the black and white one? No. It's... No, it's the one, I think it's A24. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I know which where, one. Yeah, the men. It's the same guy everywhere. It looked interesting, but I just, I never got to see this. Speaking of A24, mm -hmm. when's Marcel coming in? This, oh, my This is like the God. longest. Okay, so. I have him at home waiting to come in, yeah. So, Taylor has the, if anyone's seen Marcel mm -hmm. with uh, the shell with shoes on? Yeah. They, um, A24 on the, uh. A web store sells a small 
couldn't tell where it was from this big and i want to buy one but taylor said he has two so i said bring one in so i i know if i want to buy one Mm -hmm. and you keep forgetting but i keep forgetting but you you're scared to break it too so i I understand but it's so cute right now it's in the planter but i have the box and the packaging and everything on my desk to remember to bring it put it this way if you end up breaking it while bringing it here i'll Mm -hmm. get you another one dude good luck those things i no 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 they were in stock they were in stock stock. last time i checked it's just thirty dollars for yeah the thing is like right now especially right now is like a little what happened all what? right guys we are back unfortunately it looks like we're gonna have to end here for today uh thanks guys for joining us jonathan did you have anything you wanted to say before we end uh yeah uh so we're yeah so we're, we have to set up for uh we can only do a lot like an hour today to do this because we got to set up for the next show we're doing breath of the wild on switch john's gonna be playing that we'll be taking your super chats then that'll be at one hour two thirty. so we got to set up for that um and then sorry about the technical difficulties um so we're almost to meeting henry and sam but we're gonna have to deal with some infected and and stuff like that um and a few other things so we're gonna probably play this uh maybe we'll do a lunch break let's play tomorrow as well um if not definitely friday and i will try to you know commit more like an hour and a half to getting through to where the last of us ended in Mm -hmm. episode four but in the meantime, thanks for sticking with us, guys. I know this was a short one. We just wanted to jump in for like an hour. Um, and then, of course, we had some technical difficulties. So I'm going to leave it right here at this elevator. This is the next kind of section. And uh, we'll catch you guys later at 2.30 for our uh, playing chat uh, with Breath of the Wild. See you then. Thanks, guys, for joining us.